We go to the third inning, and it's 2-0 in favor of the Dominicans. They scored a pair of runs in the first, one of which was unearned. And now Team USA has the 8-9-1 hitters due, starting with Giancarlo Stanton, 1-10 for 10 in the tournament. And Stanton has really struggled in the past against Irvin Santana, just 1-14 for 14 against the Dominican-born right-hander. Stanton against Santana. Team USA got out of a second and third. Nobody out jammed in the last of the second. Now they're hitting in the top of the third. Outfield deep everywhere for Stanton. Santana, a long time before he works here. Now he's ready. Pitch is in for a called strike. Bill Miller's been calling some high strikes tonight. Yeah. I just hope he's locks back in and get focused. We don't want to have to talk about the umpires. I'm not, I tell you what. The pitch. And it's inside and low. And that, that wasn't meant as a criticism. It's just a, a point of uh, he's calling strikes. Not from you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next pitch. Outside and low. Two and one. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Then trying to get on here. Ahead on the count, two balls and a strike. Here's the next pitch from Santana. Swing and a miss. He threw a sinking fastball down and away, and Stanton came out empty. Two balls and two strikes on the designated hitter for Team USA tonight. Young Carlos Stanton. Luke Boy to follow. Next pitch. Hard shot, pulled foul. Look out, folks. Down the left field line. That was a sizzler to the seats. Yeah, he hit some balls really hard, I tell you. As I watch him, you got a chance to watch him a little bit. I just wish he would get just the slight wiggle in his lower body and only as a timing mechanism. Nothing much. I don't want him to move anything, shake his hands, do it. Just a little bit of a walking motion with your lower body just to help him get started a little bit. He gets an opposite field single off the end of the bat. And the leadoff man on for the first time tonight for Team USA. Stanton reached out for a pitch that was away. It hit it right off the end of the bat by the lunging Santana, the first baseman. Hit number two for Team USA. Yeah, slid that one right past the first baseman, but again, with little wiggle, nothing much. And people, like I say, it's not an, a big adjustment, but he, some of his problems is swinging and missing. And I think with that timing mechanism, he's just getting a, a hair more of a time to be able to see the ball before he actually goes from a standstill to hit it. Sometimes that little wiggle gives you a little time to be able to see it just a hair uh, better before actually attempting the swing. Here's Jonathan Lucroy. He takes a strike. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see Stanton make that kind of adjustment because he's a guy who pays attention to videos. He pays attention to advanced metrics. We've talked about stat cast, different types of measurements and data. He's a guy who's always trying to get an edge. He has the physical tools. I can see him doing something like that. Luke Croy has hit well against Santana in the past, four out of seven. He represents the tag run at the plate. The pitch with the runner going, hit and run on, and a ground ball base hit into left center field. Stanton's on his way to third, mid of the corners. Nobody out the hit and run works. First time I was here, seeing the work, seeing them execute it. But again, McCoy, very, very easy. Didn't try to do too much. Didn't try to drive the ball. Tried to put the bat on the ball, and he did. And even hitting it up the middle and shooting it past the infielders that were covering second base on the steal. That pitch was uh, about thigh high, and Luke Croy able to get it by the shortstop Reyes. In the left center, and Stanton able to get the third easily. Now the top of the order, and Ian Kinsler, who popped the first his first time. Kinsler against Santana has 23 hits, including three home runs. 2 nothing. the Dominicans lead. They have four hits. Team USA has three. And the tying runs are on for Kinsler, who twice in his career has joined the 30-30 club. 30 home runs. 30 steals in the same season. He is 5 for 18 in this tournament. Popped to first his first time. The pitch. Breaking ball taken for a call strike. And sometimes as a leadoff guy, when you swing at that first pitch or the first at bat, 
and you make an out, it handcuffs you that second at bat. It makes you feel like you don't want to make two outs or two pitches. So sometimes you'll take a pitch that's right there, which was a slider right there that you could handle. A little bit. Throw to first runner back. That's Luke Croy. Infield back. They'll give up a run for the double play ball with nobody out. Stanton at third, Luke Croy at first. Kinsler waits for the 0 1 pitch. And here it comes. Check swing, a breaking ball away. Appealed to first, denied by the first base umpire. And that is Will Little. We just need to get a ball out in the air, out in the outfield, so Stanton can come home. According to StatCast, he's one of the best as far as getting lift and getting the ball into the outfield. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Check swing bouncer to the screen, and he's mad at himself for making contact with that pitch. Soft contact to the roller to the screen, so he's in a hole, a ball, and two strikes. Here's one of those situations with nobody out. You have to cash that man in from third. You know, that's the thing. Sometimes people look at the big inning. Once you get two strikes, Let's get this RBI in, not hit into the double play, hopefully. And then you got the guys, big guys coming up behind you that can do more damage. Throw to first, runner dives back. That's uh, Luke Roy. Santana almost threw that ball away. The first baseman had to have a little, little leap down there to flag that one down. At third, Stanton. Luke Roy, the runner at first, lengthens his lead. One and two, the count on Kinsler. Santana's pitch. Instead, the throw goes to first. And the U.S. fans boo once again. The boos on the pickoff attempt. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see Kinsler do something to get these runners in. First base coach Tom Brookins with some words for Luke Croy, who now lengthens his lead. One and two, the count on Kinsler. Has yet to drive in a run in the WBC this time around. Here's the pitch. Over but low for ball two, two and two. On deck, Adam Jones. Two nothing. The Dominican Republic. We're in the third. Runners at first and third for the U.S. With nobody out. Kinsler waiting on a two-two pitch. I don't think he's going to go here, but you never know. But if you get the three-two, it's a great situation again to get to motion. Runner doesn't go. The ball is fouled at the plate. Luke Croy was after the ball was fouled was running up the second. Of course, like, he's a he's a catcher, but he's not a bad base runner. No. And again, if they can get to a three-two count where they know they're going to get something up in the zone, something that he can put in play, it'll be a, a great time again to not necessarily have a hit and run, but have the runner in motion on the three-two count. Luke Croy away from first, Stanton down the line at third. Off the stretch, Santana. The 2-2 pitch to Kinsler. A little roller off his foot up the third base line as he fouled that one off his front foot. Now, I, I take a more conservative approach. If, if they strike Kinsler out, I don't want to start the runner because that's still a man at third with one out, and the key hitter in the inning is the next guy up. It becomes a trust thing, and Leland knows Kinsler pretty good. He, he probably trusts me. He had him for all those years in Detroit. And, and again, it is. It's, it's a. It's not necessarily the best baseball play, but it's something if you believe in your guy. 2-2 two, two pitches, a bouncing ball by the mound, off the mound, a flip the second out there, and they only play and a run scores. That ball was ticketed up the middle and hit the mound and took sort of a turn to the left. By that time, Reyes waiting for it. The only thing he could do was flip the Cano to get the force on Luke Roy 6-4. Reaching at first is Kinsler. Reaches on a fielder's choice. Gets an RBI. Stanton scores. It's a 2-1 ball game. Actually, I think that ball hit uh, Santana's glove. I think he reached out there and it, it kicked off his glove just a little bit and went the opposite way. Either way, it's a break for the yep. U.S. to stay out of the double play. Yep, and that's what, as a middle infielder, one of the things you say, if the ball's hit up the middle, especially if it's not hard to your pitcher, don't reach out with your glove or with your hand and, and deflect the ball because we already cheated toward the middle for double play depth anyway. If it's not a bullet up the middle, we're going to have a chance to turn in double play for you. Here is Adam Jones. He was robbed of a hit his first time by Machado. 
Kinsler a threat to run at first, being held by Santana, draws a throw, it's in the dirt. Short hop by Santana. The other Santana, Carlos Santana, a bad throw from Irvin Santana. As Kinsler drew the attention of Irvin Santana. Team USA is on the board, they trail two to one. That has to be so hard for pitchers not to want to reach for that. You see them reach them with their glove. You see other guys do it with bare hand. You uh, do a hockey kick. Yeah, well, it, it's all about again. It was the it's the communication between the middle infield and, and the pitcher that's on the mound. You like it, it literally has to be a thing because the natural action is to go for it, you know. But if you remind them over and over and over again, if that ball is not hit up the middle too hard, like let, let us turn this double play for you. Here's Adam Jones, swing and a pop up. First base side, foul ball, room for Santana. Makes the catch for the second out. So, Adam Jones retired on the foul pop to Santana. With two down, Yelich is coming up. Machado threw him out his first time. Now, now would be the time you wouldn't be surprised to see Kinsler running. With two down, and Yelich at the plate to get into scoring position. Definitely, I think it'll be a great play. I think they're going to try to hold him a little close, maybe pick, pick over the first base a couple times, but I think eventually in this at bat, if you don't have early contact, he's going to try to get to second base. Yelich, 6 for 19 in the WBC. His team trailing 2-1 to one in the third. Santana sets. Santana pitches. Yelich, a swing and a miss and a changeup. He's really had Yelich fooled tonight with that off-speed pitcher to throw to first by the catcher and Kinsler's back. This is MLB Radio Live coverage of the World Baseball Classic available on MLB.com and Sirius XM with Jesse Sanchez and Marlon Anderson. I'm Jerry Truppiano. Top of the third, 2-1. Dominicans leading Team USA. Tying run at first with two down in the third. Yelich waits to throw to first again. Back to time is Kinsler and the USA fans let Santana hear it. They want Santana to change his evil ways. There you go, Carlos. Carlos Santana. Great, great song. <laughs> Santana with an 0 1 pitch outside, 2 and 1. If he falls behind this hitter, watch for Kinsler to run. Because they wouldn't be pitching out in the thing. Right now, the count even to the ball of the strike. So you guys mentioned Arenado might not be getting as much tension as do, considering how good he is. I think Yelich is one of those guys might fall in that same category. Yeah. Next pitch. Line drive. Base hit left center field. That gets down. That gets all the way to the wall. Kinsler around second. Coming for third. Waved home. Relay to the plate. Not coming. Game is tied. An RBI double by Yelich with two out, ties it in the third. It's 2-2. Kinsler scores all the way from first. Yelich fills the gap in left center, gets his second RBI of the WBC, and Team USA has tied it in the third, 2-2. What, what you said about Yelich is so true. Down in Miami, he had a great series. Came off the bench, got a big hit, had a couple starts, got a couple big hits. They haven't seen it here in San Diego, and that was prototypical Yelich right there, not trying to do too much, letting the ball get there to him and shooting it in the left center gap. But what's more impressive is the pitch before that was a changeup. He's out front of, he's kind of on his front foot a little bit, got there quick. Letting that ball, fastball travel, not being afraid to make an adjustment, that's what happened on that fastball away there. Yeah. Double in the gap. All he does is play every facet of the game well. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Bill Castro, the pitching coach for the Dominicans, out to talk with Santana. And the USA fans are Elated, and this game has been tied. The double by Yelich is his third of the WBC. His RBI is his second. And Team USA has come from behind to pull even at 2-2 in the third. And now Arenado with a chance to put the United States on top. He popped the second his first time. And the crowd, as the, a fan holding the American flag shown on the vision board, gets an ovation here. Here is Arenado. He is three for 19 with a home run and three RBIs. He could put Team USA on top. Santana sets, checks the runner, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He started him with a sinking fastball. Nothing in one. Arenado. 
has led the National League in home runs and RBIs each of the last two seasons. His home run came against Canada last weekend in Miami. Now Santana comes set, checks the runner, pitches. Low and away, good stop by Castillo, the catcher. It's one and one. Throughout this tournament, you've seen a lot of good hitters making adjustments, going deep counts, chasing some pitches sometimes early, then getting back into the hitters' counts by having a good eye. If you're going to be good in the big leagues, you got to be patient. You're going to take some bad swings, but you got to remember that you have to be able to see what you hit. If you don't see it very well, you can't hit it. So I'm a big believer in let the ball get deep so you can see it in the zone to be able to hit it. Next pitch to Arenado. Swing and a miss. Pull the string on that one. It's one and two as Arenado was out in front. They have bullpen action. Hector Neris, a right-hander, warming up for the Dominicans. And remember what's at stake tonight. The winner of this game gets into the semifinals in the World Baseball Classic in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium. The loser goes home. Right now it's 2-2, two, two, top of the third. One and two, the count on Arenado with Yelich at second. His RBI is tied in here. Lengthens his lead, and now the pitcher steps off. Getting a good secondary lead was Yelich, and that bothered Santana. If you notice, a lot of the runners have been bothering him this inning. He's thrown over to first base a lot. He's looking back at second base with two outs. Guy's already in scoring position. Starting getting into a guy's head, you can get him to do things he really doesn't want to do. He's ready now. Arenado waits. Arenado takes a pitch low and away. Boxed around by Castillo, but he kept it out in front. Count runs to two balls and two strikes. And it's not the fact that you, you're, most of the time, like say 99% of the time, you're not going to pick a guy off at first base. Almost 100% of the time, you're not going to pick him off at second unless he falls down or something. <laughs> so it's, the runners are mess with you for the simple fact of getting your attention, hoping to get you not focused. And sometimes even when you make a good pitch, you get a hit. The other team feels like they got in your head, so they feel like they have an advantage over you a little bit. Arenado waiting on the 2-2 pitch from Santana, who has slowed the pace here. Looks for the sign. Now he's ready. And now time called as the catcher was out for a visit. You talk about 100% of the time you never pick a man off second base. You played with Julian Tavares, right, in St. Louis? I saw him one day when he came to the American League. Well, he started the American League, but he came back to the American League. There's a man at second. He ran the ball to second base to try to tag the guy like, like he was going to scare him to run out into center field or something. It did not work. A hundred hundred and fifty percent of the time, that, that play doesn't work. work. That, that no. play won't work. No, no. no. That's, that's not what you need. No. <laughs> Arenado needs a hit to put the USA on top. Waiting for a 2-2 offering. It's on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on the pitch. Down and in. A 93-mile-an-hour fastball. The USA gets a pair. They leave a man. Last of the third coming up. USA 2, Dominican Republic 2. Team USA has tied the game in the top of the third. And now in the last half of the inning, it's the Dominicans coming up. The middle of their order, Cruz, Santana, and Marte against Danny Duffy. Cruz struck out in the first but reached on a wild pitch he later went to third on a hit by santana that chased in the second of the two runs for the dominicans in the first they got two in the first and now team usa answers with a pair of their own in the third so nelson cruz who has three home runs in the world baseball classic he's homered in each of the last two games he'll be up to start it here cruz is one for 11 against Danny Duffy. Now the left-hander ready to work to the strong right-handed batter of the Seattle Mariners. And a soft one goes low, ball one. And Marlon Anderson, I think you're a fan of the uh, Dominican catcher, Wellington Castillo. Well, I think the analytics give him a, a tough time sometimes that the numbers don't show that he's a good, good catcher. But between last inning, the pitch is up and in. During the last inning, it was a 2-2 count. Santana just on the, uh, the slider down in the dirt to Arenado. Castillo goes out there for a quick meeting. And what I feel he's telling me is, trust me here, we have him set up, but you've got to throw this pitch with conviction. Came back in, threw a fastball in, and Arenado wasn't able to catch up with it. But he didn't just let this linger. Next pitch, up high 3-0. You know, 
Go ahead. No, no, this is this is a big situation. Every moment means they just scored two runs. They just started the game. They can't give them up anything else. You have to trust me here. And that conviction to go out there and do that and get that pitcher to believe in him, that was a huge thing for that uh, situation right there. Let's see if Cruz is swinging on 3-0. and Here it comes. He is swinging. He fouls it to the right. Now to play. It's 3-1. There's a guy dressed up here as George Washington. I mentioned that Cruz is now with Seattle. I'm doing a game at the old kingdom. I look down over behind the third base dugout. Dr. Kevorkian was there. <laughs> I figured somebody better perform in that game that night. Oh, no. Three and one on Cruz. The pitch is down and in for ball four. And just what you don't want to see after your team ties it, you don't want to issue a leadoff walk to the opposition. So Cruz is not just a powerful hitter. He's a smart hitter. And I think part of that is because both of his parents are school teachers. <laughs> he used to tell me that he hated going to a class when he knew his parents were teaching because he had to answer every question. <laughs> and if he got it wrong or he didn't raise his hand, he got crushed at the, at the dinner table by his parents. <laughs> Why didn't you answer that? You know this, Nelson. What's going on here, son? Here's Carlos Santana who drove in a run in the first with a single to right center. Duffy wants the double play ball. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball to third. Arenado to second. Out there on the first double play. Put the order in for a twin killing, and you get a 5-4-3 double play just like that. That was good. They had plenty of time. Neither one of those runners can run very much. And the ball was hit hard. The ball was hit hard. Aaron Arnold kind of stood back, made sure to gather himself, made a good throw to second base, and it was easy with Kinsler throwing the ball over to Hosmer. Again, you have gold glovers all around this infield. Let them play. Let them have fun with the ball out there. Don't be afraid of contact tonight. Here's Starling Marte. He reached on a fielder's choice in the first. Pittsburgh Pirate property, center fielder. Three for nine in the WBC. Duffy now with the bases empty and two out in a 2-2 ball game. Bunch shown, pitch taken, called strike. Well, lead off walk, but then the pitcher's best friend, the double play ball, slowing things down here for the Dominicans at the moment. Marte has a home run in the WBC this year. Not a big power guy, but he can reach the seats. Pitch is taken in tight, one and one. This is our last broadcast as a crew. We've had fun. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. Marte, a right-handed batter, waiting in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on that one. It's one and two, and this is MLB Radio live coverage of the World Baseball Classic available on MLB.com and Sirius XM. Duffy within a strike for getting out of the third. One and two, the count to Marte, the pitch, low, two and two. Marte, 0 for 5 in the San Diego portion of the WBC, round number two. Duffy working quickly on a cool night in San Diego. The 2-2 pitch. Ground ball for the shortstop. Up with it, Crawford. Quick throw to first. Low and dug out by Hosmer. Side retired. Good play at both ends. 6-3 on the out. Inning over. We go to the fourth. Team USA 2. Dominican Republic 2. Eric Hosmer will lead it off in the fourth for the United States. It will be Hosmer, McCutcheon, and Crawford against Santana in a 2-2 ball game. Hosmer, first time around, had a base hit on the infield, then stole second, but he was left on. Team USA fell behind 2 to nothing after one inning, tied it with a fair in the third, and here we go to the fourth. Two runs, four hits, one error for the United States. Two men left. Two runs, four hits, no errors. Four left for the Dominicans. And uh, Hosmer who is 9 for 24 against Santana with three home runs, will lead it off here. First pitch to him. Down and in for ball one. Those are pretty good numbers against the guy. I mean, you see the ball out of the pitcher's hand pretty good. Uh, one of the things, guys, that I saw the ball good like that out of, out of his hand, I didn't want to get myself out early. Sometimes I'll let myself get into that bat and get into the flow of things. Here's a high fly ball towards left. Coming in. And to his right, Polanco. 
makes the catch. So there's the first out of the inning as Husmer retired on the fly ball to left. Andrew McCutcheon coming up. He struck out his first time. McCutcheon, the last time we saw him prior to tonight, McCutcheon was being booted, kicked out of the game by the plate umpire at that time. And that was uh, Will Little, who's the first base umpire. Tony Pena's Dominican club tied with Jim Leland's U.S. club, 2-2. Top of the fourth. McCutcheon takes a pitch inside for ball one. We were talking about McCutcheon and his future in right field for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He is such a good guy and so well respected. A lot of people hope he bounces back with a big, big year. Pitch is low and away. If he does that, and if the Pirates can't afford to keep him, he'll bring a King's ransom. No, he'll. It'll be fun. I always tell people um, when they can say that, let's say 25 home runs and 85 RBIs is a down year for you. Pitch is low. All three, three and nothing. You're, you're a pretty special guy. Yeah, you are. You <laughs> are. How many players would want that? <laughs> what, did we say the other, what did we say the other night about Cabrera? He, he only hit 313 last year for Detroit. That was a down year. On 3 and 0, McCutcheon takes a strike. 3 and 1. Some guys don't mind hitting on 3 0. Some guys don't like it at all. Else they get a particular pitch in a particular zone. 3 and 1 now to McCutcheon. He swings and chops it foul up the third base side. McCutcheon with a full count now, and on deck is Brandon Crawford. 2 2, top of the fourth. Santana takes a deep breath. He has thrown 61 pitches. Open action, a right hander. Neris, a left-hander, a bond warming up for the Dominicans. Ground ball foul keeps McCutcheon at the plate. A bond had some big outs the other night when he was pitching, huh? Yep, he definitely did. McCutcheon's, you, you, you see here, this Tom in. He's getting his foot down. The swing is good, but he's in the zone and out of the zone. When he's going right, his bat stays in the zone a little bit long and goes through the ball instead of around the ball. Three, two pitches, pop foul back to the right and out of place. Santana has fan two, hasn't walked anybody. And I'll explain in the zone and out of the zone. When your bat's in the zone and out of the zone, you have to be perfect in order to hit the ball and be good. When your bat is going through the zone, standing there a little bit longer, you have a little, just a, a little spot for error that you can still be able to get hits and, and, and drive the ball in different places. Another 3-2 pitch. Ground ball for the first baseman. Santana races to the bag, steps on. McCutcheon now three unassisted. Two up, two down. Brandon Crawford up. He had a fly ball to right his first time. That's the thing about hitting the things that you see with your eyes and you see what a guy's doing. And, you know, it's about timing. It doesn't matter anything about if he can still hit. It's about timing and getting that rhythm that he wants, that midseason rhythm. Because when he gets that, he's the guy who is about to stay in his own a long time. But he can hit the ball with power in all parts of the uh, baseball field. Crawford is 6 out of 15 in the WBC. Has occasional power. Swings and fouls it straight back. He just missed that pitch. Like it. <laughs> now they get one. Castillo's trying. Go ahead. Castillo's trying to make an adjustment on Crawford. Crawford hits the ball away from him really good. Kind of gets his arms stay, stay back on the changeup. He's trying to force him, the fastball inside on him to make him at least have to respect inside before he can stay on any more off-speed pitches like he did. Next pitch, inside and low, a ball and a strike. Santana, Urban Santana shows no emotion out there. He seems to be a cool customer on that hill. He's been doing this for a good while now. You know, like I say, he's just earned that right to be able to be calm and have those emotions out of the way and just do his job. Crawford lines a base hit into center field. Broken bat single. A two-out hit by Crawford, the fifth of the game. For the USA, and they have a man on with two down. And Giancarlo Stanton coming up. He had a hit scored in that third inning. Brought in by Kinsler on an infield out. And Crawford broke his bat on that. He's got the hit, though. He's showing me through this series why he's a good hitter, especially with runners in scoring position and in big situations because he makes adjustments. They were, they were. They were trying to mess up his timing with that fastball inside. He pulled his hands inside, broke his bat, but didn't get enough of the ball to, to get that base hit. Stanton 
Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Way back. Way back. Home run. Giancarlo Stanton has launched one. And Team USA takes a 4-2 lead. He hit it into the second level or the third level of the Western Metal Supply Company down the left field line. And there was no doubt about it. 4-2 Team USA. When this kid hits the ball the way he does, he makes clean contact. It's the most amazing thing that you can see on a baseball field. Everybody should pay money to go see him when he's close to them wherever he is. He is absolutely amazing. I saw him do that in the home run derby here. And we've got the manager coming out for the Dominicans. That's all for Santana. Tony Pena making a pitching change. This game coming to you from Rocking Petco Park in San Diego. If you're just joining us, you just missed some two-out thunder from Giancarlo Stanton, whose two-run homer after two were out. Rocked this place and has put Team USA up 4-2 to two and knocked the starter, Santana, out of the game. He goes three and two-thirds, allowed six hits, four runs all earned, two strikeouts, gave up the home run to Stanton. And now Hector Neris, Philly's property, a right-hander is brought on to face Jonathan Lucroy with the United States leading here. Four to two. And the USA chant going again with the Americans now leading four to two thanks to Giancarlo Stanton who launched one. Launched one is an understatement. That was 117.3 miles per hour. A ridiculous number even by Giancarlo's standard. It traveled 424 feet according to StatCast. Luke Croy had a hit his first time. He takes ball one here. They give him left center field, and now Neris looks in for the sign. The pitch outside low, and it's 2-0. Oh. You, you knew it was just a matter of time if, if uh, Stanton was going to get the at-bats before he launched one. And he got all of that pitch. Neris delivers. Foul back and to the right. Neris last year for the Phillies was four and four with two saves. And Neris got great stuff. He, he'll throw that split finger anytime. He gets behind and gets in trouble. He'll still use it, but he's a guy that is 95, 96 mile per, miles per hour on his fastball, but his split is nasty and he loves it all the time. Swing and a miss. Don't tell me Team USA doesn't get excited. Did you see that dugout? Did you see Stanton's reaction, his teammates' reaction? They are fired up. Him looking in the dugout and clapping his hands, pointing toward his guys' mates in there. Like, that's what it's all about. When you're in a Game 7 situation, when it's win or go home, this brings out a lot of emotions, and I'm glad to see them get into it a little bit and have some fun with the game of baseball. Luke Croy. Swing and a drive. In the left field deep. Way back. This ball is going to be caught. On the track, up against the fence by Polanco for the out that ends the inning. That one didn't miss by much of getting out of here. It pinned Polanco against the fence, and it ended the inning. But an inning that saw two more come home for the United States. After three and a half, United States four, Dominican Republic two.